Yeah. Hey, so funny. He's it's trashing fifth period. Friday, November 22nd. I trash fifth period to their face. But fifth period is not watching this, and we're fine anyway. Fifth period, I love you. Uh, but this is hashtag third period. Um, it's Friday. It's Friday. Happy Friday. Friday. <laughs> so, information for you. Uh, one, book report due in two and a half weeks. Your only homework for me right now is where it says right there. Uh, work on your book report. You're not reading Outsiders yet. Our next checkpoint is going to be like end of chapter five, but that's not until after Thanksgiving. We have time to get there, so don't freak out yet. I'll let you know when it's time to read. For now, we get to do read these things together. And my book does look different than yours, but it's the same on the inside. It's just a different outside cover. But like all the page numbers are the same and stuff like that. And then tie game was uh, food because next week is Thanksgiving where apparently people eat food or something like that. Um, if you need or if you leave book at school and you need copy of it, there is ebook version on my website. And you can go get ebook version, but you can't use it in the classroom because you can't highlight with your highlighter on there. I know you can highlight with your finger. So you're going to only use ebook at home. There's also audiobook on there. So if you want to listen to audiobook, you may, which is going to be like a person who is reading it to you. Or you can read with your own voice, and I'm fine with that iron wine. And then to that, here's what we're going to do uh, Short Story Mountain. Uh, what's the beginning part of Short Story Mountain? Boring beginning stuff. Boring exposition. Exposition, the boring beginning stuff. Uh, my goal is I'll be reading most exposition with you. I'm not going to make you guys read until we get to the part after exposition, which is? Rising Action. So when we get to Rising Action, that's where I'll let you guys read, because that way it becomes more fun for you and it's not me torturing you nearly as much. But while we're doing exposition, we're going to be meeting a bunch of different characters. So what I'm going to have you do is this is where your highlighter thing comes in. Highlighter. What you're going to be doing is whenever we get to a character description that you can connect to somebody you know, you are going to highlight it and then write the name off to the side. So like in my first period of the Shadow Club, it talked about like this evil person. Every time you looked at him, you could see horns growing out of their head. Yeah, we highlighted that and then put my name off to the side. So if you get to the part that talked like this annoying younger brother that you can't stand, you're going to like highlight that one and be like, that's my younger bro. And so you're just going to find those connections because it's going to make your homework -y life in the future much easier. And we'll come to this guy in just a moment. All right. Paul Newman, we'll get to in a moment. We'll talk about him. Yeah. We're not there yet. All right. Yeah. His dad's Will's name dad. Is Jenna. 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 Jenna.
uh, I highlighted that and I put myself because uh, I also don't look tough, but he does. But I guess my own looks aren't so bad. I have light brown, almost red hair, and greenish gray eyes. I wish they were more gray, because I hate most guys that have green eyes. But I have to be content with what I have. My hair's longer than a lot of boys wear theirs. It's squared off in back and long at the front and size, but I'm a greaser. And most of my neighborhood rarely bothers to get a haircut. Besides, I look better with long hair. I had a long walk home and no company, but I usually loaned it anyway, for no reason except that I like to watch movies undisturbed so I can get into them and live them with the actors. But when I see a movie with someone, it's kind of uncomfortable, like having someone read your book over your shoulder. I'm different that way. I mean, my second oldest brother, Soda, who's 16 going on 17, he never cracks a book at all. And my oldest brother, Daryl, who we call Derry, uh, he works too long and hard to be interested in a story or drawing a picture, so I'm not like them. And nobody in our gang digs movies and books the way I do. For a while there, I thought I was the only person in the world that did, so I loaned it. Soda tries to understand, at least, which is more than Derry does, but then Soda's different from anybody. He understands everything, almost. Like, He's never hollering at me all the time the way Derry is, or treating me as if I was six instead of 14. I love Soda more than I've ever loved anyone, even Mom and Dad. He's always happy-go-lucky, grinning, while Derry's hard and firm and rarely grins at all. I'm hoping, again, that's where you guys would highlight he's always happy-go-lucky and grinning, and then put my name as opposed to the hard and firm and rarely grins at all. I got but, you, you know, To each their own. Yeah. Robo. He's talking. Right now, we don't know yet. The main person named I. Eventually, you'll figure out his name. Or you can look at the back, but that takes all the fun out of it. But then, Derry's gone through a lot in his 20 years. Grown up too fast. Soda Pop will never grow up at all. I don't know which way is the best. Well, I'll find out one of these days. Anyway, I went on walking home, thinking about the movie, and then suddenly wishing I had some company. Greasers can't walk alone too much, or they'll get jumped, or someone will come by and scream, Greaser! at them, which doesn't make you feel too hot, if you know what I mean. We get jumped by the socials. Now, I'm not sure how you spell it, but it's the abbreviation for the socials, the jet set, the west side rich kids. It's like the term greaser, which is used to class all us boys on the east side. We're poorer than the Sochas and the middle class. And I reckon we're wilder, too. Not like the Sochas, who jump greasers and wreck houses and throw beer blasts for kicks and get editorials in the paper for being a public disgrace one day and an asset to society the next. Greasers are they're almost like hoods. We steal things, drive old souped-up cars, hold up gas stations, and have a gang fight once in a while. Quick pause, they use an idiom, hold up gas stations, not meaning to lift them up because that'd be really heavy and you'd yeah. pull your back. Hold up the gas station means... Just stop. There you go. Robbing it. Showing up with a gun, going, give me all your money. So, uh, robbing it. So that's what they do for fun, you know, like you guys and your friends. So just making sure you realize the type of people they are. That's the stuff they do for fun. You rob gas stations. And have gang fights, you know, once again, like you and your friends. I don't mean I do things like that. Derry would kill me if I got into trouble with the police. I mean, since Mom and Dad were killed in an auto wreck, the three of us get to stay together only as long as we behave. So Soda and I stay out of trouble as much as we can. And we're careful not to get caught when we can't. I only mean that most greasers do things like that. Just like we wear our hair long and dress in blue jeans and t-shirts or leave our shirt tails out and wear leather jackets and tennis shoes or boots. Now, I'm not saying that either socias or greasers are better. That's uh, just the way things are. Uh, uh, quick pause, so you know these two groups are talking about. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not there. Oh, sorry, I forgot this part. You might know him also because he created a salad dressing called Newman's Own. So if you ever want, if you have my grandparents, they seem to love this because like he was like around there, boomers. 
uh, right around that same, same time period. And so he created a, uh, a salad dressing that's named after him and has his face on it. And so then they even sell them little packets, like at little fancy restaurants and things like that. So that's his salad that's dressing. Terrifying. You'll see his face at the grocery store. He also has Newman's own like spaghetti sauces and stuff like that. Yeah. Salad dressing. Is, really, like, awesome. Is he Italian? He is not. He just likes money. <laughs> uh, these are the greasers. They're talking about the, so if you're familiar like that type of people from like back in the day, yeah. greasers because they put grease in their hair. Uh, nowadays, we like what, 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 axers. Uh, people like, spray themselves with the axe. Uh, so like what they did back in the day is you just take like the thing you and you slick your hair back because uh -huh. the ladies Ew. dug it. Like, uh, and that's where also you have like the black leather jackets, the white t-shirts. I think you have to have like your cigarettes rolled up in your sleeve and stuff like that because I mean you have to smoke as required. Then the other group that he's talking about, they're called the socials, which means like the popular kids, what we used to call the preppies, something along those lines. I did find a preppy dog. Uh, when I was typing in like soch into the, the Google search, it came up with a dog, and I'm like, done. Uh, so, it had, so that's what they're talking about. The socials were the rich kids, and it's being told from the viewpoint of the greaser, who is the not so rich kid. Yeah, that guy made me smile too. What is he I like doing? him. Hartman. Like you can see the, like in the middle picture, the girl that's second is holding her purse. It kind of looks like the chain from the dog. It does. Like, it yeah. makes it does. Oh, oh, OMG! Oh. The dog is <laughs> Wait, that's your dog. Damn it, says Vineyard Vines. Oh, I know. And that picture I got like 10 years ago, I found that picture. Apparently Vineyard Vines has been around forever. But that was before, like, see? Little tiny whale. Uh, that was back where they did giant whales. All right, we'll come back then. They're going to talk about in a moment a red Corvair that starts following him. This is the type of car they're talking about. So that's the car that's coming up. Thanks for telling us the um, jokes. No, they're models. Same thing, just bigger. No, same thing. I could have waited to go to the movies until Dairy or Soda Pop got off work. I mean, they would have gone with me or driven me there or walked along. Although Soda just can't sit still long enough to enjoy a movie and... They bore Derry to death. Derry thinks his life is enough without inspecting other people's. Or I could have gotten one of the gang to come along. One of the four boys Derry and Soda and I have grown up with and consider family. We're almost as close as brothers. When you grow up in a tight-knit neighborhood like ours, you get to know each other real well. If I thought about it, I could have called Derry and he would have come by on his way home and picked me up. Or Two-Bit Matthews, one of our gang, he would have come to get me in his car if I'd asked him. But sometimes I just don't use my head. I underline that and I put my students. It drives my brother drives my brother Derry nuts when I do stuff like that because I'm supposed to be smart. I make good grades. I have a high IQ and everything, but I don't use my head. Besides, I like walking. I about decided I didn't like it so much, though, when I spotted that red Corvair trailing me. I was almost two blocks from home then, so I started walking a little faster. I'd never been jumped, but I'd seen Johnny after four socias got hold of him, and it wasn't pretty. Johnny was scared of his own shadow after that, and Johnny was 16 then. I knew it wasn't any use, though. The fast walking, I mean. Even before the Corvair pulled up beside me and five socias got out, I got pretty scared. I'm kind of small for 14. Even though I have a good build, those guys were bigger than me. I automatically hitched my thumbs in my jeans and slouched, wondering if I could get away if it made a break for it. I remember Johnny, his face all cut up and bruised, and I remembered how he'd cried when we found him, half-conscious in the corner lot. Johnny had it awful rough at home. It took a lot to make him cry. The quick pause. The hitching thumbs um, is when you have... It's uh, the cool thing you do back in the day. You have your thumbs, you like put like your belt loops like that. You like the whole, uh, you're like, I'm too cool to have a good posture. Uh, that's like the whole hitching. It's what you used to do back when you were like a thug in the days. So if you're trying to like show off, you put the things like that and you, oh wait, against the wall. Really cool. Usually help you like a cigarette, or, you know, nowadays a vape. Uh, so you like, like, look extra cool when the kids see you. That's what he's trying to do. Feels like I pulled that off pretty well. Definitely. Thank you, I appreciate that. I was sweating something fierce. Although I was cold, I could feel my palms getting clammy and the perspiration running down my back. I get like that when I'm real scared. I glanced around for a pop bottle or a stick or something. Steve Randall, 
So does Best Buddy. Once held off four guys with a busted pop bottle. But there was nothing. All right, pop bottle. Not the plastic ones you guys have today. No, the, the old ones, ones that were glass. Like they have like old Coke bottles, stuff like that. Because if you had a plastic bottle, that's not going to fend anybody off. And you're like, donk, 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 and they're just going to laugh at you. So you take like the old glass bottle, like a beer bottle, and you smash it. That used to be what soda came in. And you have like Mountain Dew, like this big, tall, green bottle, smashed on the ground, and you can stab a fool. So that's what he's talking about here. Stuber? So, the soda pop dude, is that his real Yeah. We're gonna get. We're gonna find out his parents are special. Yeah, yeah Pony Boy, Pop. Soda the Pop. They were hippies. I know. Now the older brother was Dare, was his normal name, and then Soda Pop. They're like all in, Pony Boy. And so you might not know this, but some parents are special. They do, but we're gonna find out the cops don't only really care because these people are poor, and I think the only issues we're gonna get into. Yeah. Uh, uh, I mean, he's a make-believe character, so just use your imagination. <laughs> Did you not know this was a make-believe book? No, but oh. in the movie... Well, the movie's a, a movie. It's okay. The movies are bad. The movies. I know. That's a movie. But there was nothing. So I stood there like a bump on a log while they surrounded me. I don't use my head. Again, highlighted that for my students. They walked around slowly, silently, smiling. <laughs> Hey, Grease, one said in an over-friendly voice. We're going to do you a favor, Greaser. We're going to cut all that long, greasy hair off. He had on a Madra shirt. I can still see it. Oh, that's the thing. Sorry. Forgot this one. Where they're finding him is this place. They're going to keep referring to an empty lot in their neighborhood. So an empty lot is like a place in the neighborhood where you could build a house, but you didn't. I used to live in Woodbury. Lots of empty lots there. What? I like this little section. Did? Yeah. I'm right by that neighborhood. Herb a uh, And so now uh, the uh, there's the you no know, well not uh, uh, there's a bigger fancier neighborhood that's near there that's over down. Is it no Anderson Hall? Anderson Hall. While they were building that one, Anderson Hall has like a lot of these where there's like an empty lot where they're going to build a house but they haven't built one yet. So that would be an empty lot. But there's pretty grass. So now there's actually a house there because I did this last year and the kid was like, that's where my house is. And I'm like, well, Google Images, your house isn't there yet. So that's an empty lot. That's the Madras. So when they talk about the Sosas showing up wearing Madras, this is the outfit that they're wearing. So the girls so, at some point in the future, kids are going to be reading a book about your age, and they're going to be like, oh my god, look at those kids. They all have little scrunchies in their hair. And so, they're going to be for you guys too. So, it all goes around. Anyway, Blue Madras. One of them laughed and then cussed me out in a low voice. I couldn't think of anything to say. There just isn't a whole lot you can say while waiting to get mugged, so I kept my mouth shut. You need a haircut, greaser? The medium-sized blonde pulled a knife out of his back pocket, flipped the blade open. I finally thought of something to say. No, I was backing up, away from that knife. Of course, I backed right into one of them. They had me down in a second. They had my arms and legs pinned down, and one of them was sitting on my chest with his knees on my elbows. And if you don't think that hurts, you're crazy. I could smell English leather shaving lotion and stale tobacco. And I wondered foolishly if I'd suffocate before they did anything. I was scared so bad I was wishing I would. And I fought to get loose and almost did for a second. Then they tightened up on me and the one on my chest slugged me a couple times. So I lay still, swearing at them between gasps. A blade was held against my throat. How'd you like that haircut to begin just below the chin? It occurred to me then, they could kill me. I went wild. I started screaming for soda, dairy, anyone. Someone put his hand over my mouth and I bit it as hard as I could, tasting blood running through my teeth. I heard a muttered curse and I got slugged again and then they were stuffing a handkerchief in my mouth. One of them kept saying, shut him up for Pete's sake, shut him up. Then there were shouts and the pounding of feet and the socius jumped up and left me lying there, gasping. I lay there and wondered what in the world was happening. People were jumping over me and running by me, and I was too dazed to figure it out. Then someone had me under the armpits and was hauling me to my feet. It was Derry. 
I'm going to pause there before we get to the part of the dairy. When he is being held down, he mentions being able to smell something. What is it he mentions being able to smell? English lettuce shaving cream. 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 Oh, no, he's going to I can't help you with the tobacco. <laughs> I'm sorry. Just go ahead and the bathroom and drink it fast. Oh, 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 snap. Story pops. I mean, you're really not really fired. What a slug. Shade being thrown like a lady. What a slug mean? Baseball punch. Yeah, punch. you're punching your eyes on the ground. Do you need an example? <laughs> <laughs> So, I went out to the store and I bought English leather shaving cream. So essentially this is a type of cologne, so I'm going to give you a chance to smell it. So you get to imagine this is all he is smelling as they're holding him down. English leather. Those of you at home, we're going to go ahead and stop it now. You don't wait. Hang on. At home, you get to smell it. Lean in. Ooh, you're welcome. Bye-bye. <laughs>